Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Create Your Own Headline. Uh, in this lecture, I'm gonna show you ways to create really great headlines very easily that sell. If you are having trouble with getting to grips with headlines, then, 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 then the formula below will help. The ROT formula is a popular way of getting headline that grabs the reader's attention. Now, the ROT formula, ROT stands for Results, Objections, Time Frame. And those are the three key elements of um, a good headline. It's what people want to know when they read a headline. They're the, they're the three things that when someone's buying a product, that's what they want to know. They want to know what's it going to do for them, is it going to solve their problem, and when can they get it, or when are they going to see it work, when are they going to see the results. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll put an example in here. Um, the results they want uh, done running, so they want to get better at running. Uh, that's the results they want. Uh, their objections, they've got poor cardio. Uh, they can't run very far, you know, they're fat. They're, they're like me, okay? <laughs> and the time frame, they really want to see something happen within 20 days. Okay, so over here, um, we've got different combinations of uh, results, objections, time frame. The top one here is uh, results, time frame, objections. So I've filled it out here, starting with results. Treble the distance you can run with our 20-day training program. That's just covered results and time frame. They're going to treble the distance they can run with the 20-day training program. And the objections are excellent results guaranteed, even with poor cardio. So there you go, all good there. Uh, the next one is objections, results, um, time frame. <laughs> Do you struggle with your cardio? I, I always start, if I'm gonna start with an objection, it's always good to start with a, a question. Ask, the, ask them the question, which you would assume their objection would be. Do you struggle with poor cardio? Learn to massively increase your running distances in just 20 days. So that's covered all three of them. You can also do combinations like just two. So if you're restricted with the, um, the size of the headline, for whatever reason, you're gonna put in your description, or you, you wanna just do two, because you feel that would be better and it comes across better, then we've got one here, results and objections. Take your running to the next level and never worry about poor cardio again. Okay, this is basically just a template of how to consistently bring up great headlines when you're writing your descriptions. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part here, the, the formula, and I want you to take pen and paper out and basically just jot down results they want, objections, time frame, and uh, then fill out next to it uh, your product. Uh, the results, what your customer's looking for and what, they, what they're gonna get from buying your product. Um, objections, uh, what would be their objections? Like, uh, I've just sold a bunch of uh, travel clothes lines recently. So um, the results would be for me, um, you can have a portable, you can dry your clothing anywhere. The objections, uh, nowhere to put a clothesline because it would be a clothesline. So your travel clothesline would solve that objection. Uh, time frame. Well, I was delivering it within three days, so you will get your super cool portable travel clothesline delivered to your door within three days. Um, a 30 day money back guarantee maybe in there as well. Some things like that. Okay, once you've written this out and you've filled out your product details in here, then have a go at this. Um, just write these down. These are uh, these are the initials here, um, all six of them, and. Uh, them out and once you've done this you should be pretty good at writing headlines and you should have yourself some great headlines for your product so have a go at that um, I'm not really into this whole setting people homework and all that um, we're all big boys and girls we all we, we can all hold our own but uh, I feel this is necessary um, just to just to illustrate that once you do this you can see how easy it is and you'll be able to it's, it's kind of a bit of fun and you'll be able to drum up some really good headlines for, your, for, your, for the top of your description. Um, I'm making a big deal out of this headline thing because like I've shown you before, it really does grab the reader's attention and pull them into the description as opposed to them looking at 
the adverts or anything else or oh look someone's dropped on a message on Facebook so they're going to check that they're scrolling down they're interested in your product bang there's the headline all right okay that's what I want that's solving my problem and I'm going to and I'm going to see it in this time frame excellent that's what I need let's keep reading and you've got them okay so the headlines are the important thing um, yeah so fill these out and uh, see how you go I'm going to finish this lecture with a couple of bullet point like uh, quick slides of a few things that we've covered and a few things to remember with headlines okay never trick or mislead people with your headlines it's okay to make your product seem bigger than it is or tell people that it's the best but if you say it comes with a built-in stereo system that uses space shuttle technology then that better be the case having confidence in your product is a must but don't sell something to the customer that they're not going to get um, if it, very much so if you the customer's going to receive the product ultimately so if they pull it out of the box and they're like well hold on a minute where's that widget that goes on the bottom that hovers or whatever <laughs> then if they don't get that then they're not going to be happy and that's going to be upset but um, telling a guy that he can run better in 20 days if he follows the program if he does follow the program and the program says he can run better in 20 days and you're not lying and if they if they do that then they're going to run better aren't they but obviously uh, there's a line there and uh, crossing it by promising false things shouldn't be the case okay the customer only cares about themselves not you not even the product it's all about how the product can better their lives and what it can do for them the products got the product excuse me the customers got to say your product page they've they've clicked on the title so they know what the product is because they've clicked on the title they've looked at the images so they know they know exactly what the product's doing and uh, what it looks like and what it comes with they've read the bullet points they're now moving down to the description um, they're well aware of what the product is we don't need to tell them again what the product is we need to tell them what the product can do for them and what it can do to better their lives um, we've all, if you think about it that is in exactly your mindset when you're looking through uh, listings online okay always write your headline first as this will make you super focused for the description sorry my phone's going crazy for some reason as this will make you super focused for the description I'm not being super focused right now <laughs> um, yeah uh, always write your headline when writing a description uh, get the headline down that the way we've just shown you and um, that will get you in a mo in a complete kind of like description writing selling mode and you'll be able to easily you'll be on the correct wavelength to be able to drum out a really great description I write in the headline last I've seen people do that um, I don't really think that's the way to go I think if you write the headline this is my product this is what it's going to do for you and um, that will take you into the description a lot more easier and make the whole process a lot better for you once you have wrote out multiple headlines then ask some friends and family which one stands out for them also ask your friends on Facebook what they think um, if you if you're open with your family and your friends about what you're doing and you talk to them you say yeah I'm going to start doing this course and you know it's been really good and um, I, I'm writing my descriptions but I'm not sure which one would work ask them they're just going to say um, yeah that one or yeah okay um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, this, I'm very private I keep myself to myself and uh, I don't really tell my friends exactly what I do for money. Uh, well, they know, but I don't go into details a lot. So uh, it's uh, it was a little difficult for me. But I found once I did start asking my friends and family about about things like this and advice, it was very helpful. And I wish I'd done it a lot sooner. So that's why I put this in here. Um, you'd be surprised at the response you get from friends and family. It was also why I put earlier on in the course about asking them for a pound or a dollar. Um, you just you'd be very surprised at the responses you get and all feedback is good feedback so yeah okay that's the end of this lecture um i really hope you found this um helpful uh good luck with your titles i hope you come up with some really great ones um stick them up in the udemy uh message board there and let me have a look if you want and uh i'll be happy to give you feedback too um thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next lecture